Hi boys and girls. Today's math lesson is about order of numbers. When we compare numbers, that helps us put them in order. We look at numbers and try to, to determine which is the smallest number and which is the largest number. The math terms are for that is the least number or the greatest number. So let's try number one. The Odell family went on a whale watching trip. They learned about different whales. The table shows the length of three whales. Order the lengths from least to greatest. So least to greatest means from the smallest to the largest. So sometimes when I see those directions least to greatest, I put a little thing there for myself. A little tiny x, two, and then a big x. So I'm looking for the number that's the smallest to the biggest number. Okay, how can we do this? Two strategies again, comparing place value. So I line up all the numbers of the orca, the blue, and the humpback, and I start comparing them. So right here, right away, for the blue whale, there is a one in the thousands. So I know that that is gonna be the greatest number and I'm now looking for the least number. So which is smaller? Well, I have a seven there in the hundreds and a two. So I know right away that 260 is less than 744, which is less than 1,128. So the orca is the least or smallest of the whales. The next one is the humpback in the middle at 744. And the whale with the greatest length is the blue whale, 1,128. So that's putting them in place value digit order. That's our first strategy. The second strategy, of course, is always putting them on a number line. So our number line, there is the orca, there is the humpback, and then there would be the blue whale. So you can see they've laid it out that way also. So again, 264 there, orca, is less than the humpback at 744, which is there and there on my chart, and which makes the greatest the blue whale at 1,128. So our bottom statement says the order from least to greatest is 264 inches compared to 744 with the greatest being 1,128. So least to greatest, smallest to the greatest number. Okay, now they're gonna change it up for us. Listen to this problem. The table shows the distances the whales travel to feed in the summertime. This is called migration. Order these uh, distances from the greatest to the least. So now we're gonna go from the biggest number to the little bittiest number, okay? So what do we do? We're comparing the chart again. We have humpback at 3,500, gray whale at 6,200, and the orca at 900. So we start comparing our digits in place value. Well, it looks like 6,000 is the greatest number. So I'm looking for the biggest to the smallest again, right? So the greatest number is 6,200 and just 200. The second greatest, so I got that one taken care of. Second greatest, 900 or that. Okay, so the second greatest is the humpback, 3,500. And the least would be in the middle. No, oh, second greatest. Okay, so the least, I'm going to add it over here, would be 900, the orca. So then it gives me that um, equation. So I would say 6,000 is greater than, remember it always points to a smaller number, 3,500, which is greater than 900. So the distances the 
of migration from greatest to least would be, again, 6,200, 3,500, and 900. Biggest number to the smallest number. All right, now what's it ask us to do on the bottom, guided practice? Put the order the numbers from the least to the greatest. So I put my little cheat sheety thing there again, and my little my little strategy, smallest to the biggest. Okay, so I start comparing my digits. I'm looking for smallest, so 32 is smaller than 39. So 32 goes first, then 39, which leaves my biggest digit, 68. Okay, let's order these. Again, least to greatest, smallest to the biggest. So 2,200 is the biggest, right? So that could go way at the end. And then I have 220 and 202. So right there, that tells me that is bigger than that one. So that would, could go there, 220, which leaves the least or the smallest, whoops, 202. Okay, now I'm gonna go on and do two more problems in the guided practice, which is part of your homework. So for those of you that always watch all of the video, you're gonna have a couple free answers. This is what your independent practice looks like today. And I'm gonna do number seven and it's asking me at the directions. Always read the directions first. It's asking me to put the top problems, which is all of these above this line, in the greatest to the least. So the biggest number to the smallest. Okay, so let's try this one. I have a zebra, an ostrich, and an alligator. So greatest to least. Which number would be greatest? Oh boy, an alligator. So 1,000. And my next number, and I'm going to just put my symbols, is greater than the zebra at 500, which is greater than the ostrich at 345. Okay, let's try one more. Below the line, it's asking you to put these into the le in order from the least to the greatest. So my smallest number to the biggest number. And I'm going to do... Mm -hmm. Number 14, move it over just a little bit. So this is the number of students in each of these schools. So lots of kids go to these schools. So again, smallest to greatest. So I start comparing, that's a really big number, 3,000, which I look now at these. Which number is smaller here? Well, right away I notice in the tens, this one's gonna be bigger than this one, right? So my least, our smallest number is going to be 2,500 is greater than 2,530, whoops, can't write over that, 36, which is greater than 3,002. Okay, so if you were paying attention, you got two free answers on your work today. All right, bye for now.